Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this awesome looking Android box. This is done by a company called Buzz TV and it is modeled X5 128 AX-C. Now internal storage on this is 128 gigabyte comes with 4 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM. On top of that AX stands for Wi-Fi 6. Yes, we will show you. It has a USB type C powered and it comes with a BT400 remote, which has a little app in the screen itself. And I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family. Make sure you click the notification icon, select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. And here are all the components that are part of the box. So now in order to get this information on your phone, you just have to grab your phone, go on the QR code and you should get a little URL. And there you go. So there you go. This is the first part for your remote on how you will be able to play with your remote just in case if you ever need it. And the second one is going to be for the actual guide. Now, as soon as it loads up, you can see that this is the regular X5 guide and you can learn more about the actual box itself just using this and your QR code page. It comes with a power cable, which one side is USB type C. The other side is USB type A, which is 2.0. Now it comes with a power adapter. Now this, when you open it, created for Canada, United States, it is five volt two amps look on the side of it has their logo really nicely and then the usb connection this is usb type a connection which looks really cool but when you close it now it comes with three different prongs and these are created for different part of the world so this way you can connect it and take advantage of it as an example if we want to connect this or this one for europe and once you go to it there is a little connector just have to make sure that the actual part for it is flipped inside and then you just have to connect it on the top and that's about it and now you have it for a different part of the world you can take it out easily and you can replace it with a different one so that means is this is really good for travel and you can take it with you anywhere you go and it will be nicely work it also comes with an HDMI cable it comes with a remote and this remote is going to be inside of a plastic so it doesn't get scratched up but this is beautiful this is called BT400 and this is the one that will be able to connect to your box via Bluetooth but if it's not connected you have to point it towards the box in order to connect it as IR and it will work perfectly for you now it has a lot of little features if you do want to learn more about it do ask at the bottom of the video we love to help you out and tell you what these buttons will really do and that way you can play with this and if you flip it in the back open it and you can put two AAA batteries which is included in the box on top of that you do have a little QR code so you can scan this using your phone and then you will learn more about the remote except that I really like that little design that they have put on the top part and also the part for the grip so this we can put your finger so you know exactly which part is the top and which part is the bottom and when you put it on the table it sits properly and they also package it with Energizer AAA batteries and then comes the best part is the actual box now this is very similar to the older models of the X5 which has the exact same look to it you have the little IR indicator in the front and also the LED so this way you know that if it was this box is on or off when you go to the right side of it you have a TF card reader and then you have USB 3.0 and then USB 2.0 going to the back you have these little connectors and these are really good so you can exchange them with a bigger one if if your router is a little bit further you can get bigger antennas for your router it will be the same connection for this and you can replace it so you can have better gain for your Wi-Fi but except that it is very easy to place and remove and that's about it and you have two of them if you look in the back you do also have an AV port 
you have a gigabit LAN, you have 2.3 HDMI, and then also you have optical audio connection, so you can connect it to all the type of stereo, and then you also have a USB type C power connection. And going on the other side, there's nothing there, but when you go on the top, I really like that little design that they placed. For this, I really like their logo in the middle, and then these little cuts, these are all print, and then you do have these little sides that looks like a screw, but it is not, it's just a little look to it. I really like that little cut that they have done. It is really slick in how they have placed everything together. But when you go to the bottom, it's just a regular Android box and similar to the default boxes that are out there, you have these little legs. Now these are not part of the actual part. They made it so that way when you put it on the table, it is not going to move that much, which I really like that. And you have some holes for ventilation. On top of that, it tells you what model you got. On top of that, where it's made. And then the FCC ID is there. And they are very proud of it. I know why. And then you have the sticker for your MAC address and serial number, which really stands out. Now, when you put it down, and now let's get it connected. All right, so now let's connect the box itself to the TV. So the first thing we will connect is going to be HDMI. And then go ahead and connect your power. And then in front, you're just going to see the little blue light. And let's go to the screen. And here you go. As soon as you turn it on, you'll get the Buzz TV logo. Now we're just going to wait for it to log in. You should see an animation as it's happening right now. There's no sound to it. So this is perfectly fine of what you're going to see. And when it goes to the first screen, you will get this part. So yes, you have to pair your remote that comes with the box. So for that, you have to hold your home and the OK button in the middle for a couple of seconds until you get a little blinking on your remote. And once you get it, it should say found remote as it shows right now in the bottom. And there you go. So once it goes through, the welcome screen will come up. You need to set up your box. For this part, I'm just going to bypass. Here you go. This is how the screen really looks. It's very simple. Again, just like the other boxes that they have. You have some little shortcuts in the front, as you can see right now. When you go on the top, it shows you that you have a little settings button and then you have server settings, which will be covered all under full review. So if this is a full review, don't worry, this will come up. On top of that, you have connection. And yes, you can see there is a little indicator that says I am connected to Wi-Fi 6, which is a really good thing to see. And this way, it makes it very simple for you to capture everything else. So here you go. Another part is Bluetooth is on because I'm using this remote and this LAN is not connected yet. So we haven't got that far through it yet. On top of that, you have update. So yes, you can click on update and it will check for update just like right now I'm doing. And then if there is any update, it will be coming up and it will tell you to update. But looks like we are up to date and going back. So this is how everything looks. Now on top of that, you can change background. Now I do have another video, but if you want me to make a create a brand new video for these type of things, don't hesitate. Leave it at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And on top of that, you have the Buzz Utilities. Now, if you go to it, you can see you can do a lot more through this so that way you can play with it. One thing that I have to mention is called Volume Control. You can click on it and see it says Volume Control. Max Volume is on. That means it's if I use the regular remote right now, the Buzz TV remote, and I want to bring the volume up, on the box, it does not work because it really works through your TV so that way you can use your TV remote to bring the volume up and down. If you want to turn it off, just click on it and it's off. Now you can use your volume up and down on the actual box to make it simply working. So there you go. This is where you find it. Except that there's more information here that you can play with and makes it very simple to go next. Something like weather settings. You go here, you can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit right over here. So easy thing to do, but this is all on a main screen. You can just get back out of it. And on top of that, you can see the time and also the weather is showing properly. It just gets it from your internet and IP. So this way knows exactly where you are. You do have a huge icon right here says all apps. You can click on it and it will take you inside all the apps that are preloaded. We didn't install anything on this yet, so we can do our testing. And here you go. The next part is these are all shortcuts. You can click on the plus sign so you can add more, something like this. 
say yes, press back, and voila, it just shows up. Now, you can also move this back and forth by just clicking OK on it for a couple of seconds, and here you go. You can say move, and you can move it and press OK, so it can stay there. Now, you can also remove it or even uninstall the app. We need it, so we're not going to uninstall. We're just going to remove it from the main screen. Now, you have all apps icon right here, so you can click on it and go next or you can scroll down and all the apps are going to show up in the last line, which is really cool. I really like that part. Now we will be going through some apps. Number one we're going to launch is going to be YouTube. So by default, this box will be playing everything as 1080p. As you can see it, this is auto, but you can change it to 4K. It takes a couple of seconds and the picture will come back and voila. Now everything is in 4K and you can see that there's no stop to it. The Kodak is working perfectly with this. Now let's get into it a little bit geeky. And here you go. Now you can see that this has been captured at 1080p. There's zero frame drop and you can see the bottom of it. This is running on 4K and 30 hertz. But if you go down, this the Kodak that they're using is VP9 and OPUS. It's running really good. And by the way, the color is properly on it too. And you can see that it did not change, which means it's, it's doing the job properly when you come to the actual YouTube app. The next thing we will be covering is going to be Geekbench. Now we have already processed this. For single core, we received 151. For multi core, you can see that it is 492. Again, it works really well, and you can see that it's very smooth. It is running on OS 11, which we're going to cover in a couple of seconds, but it is a really good number. The next thing we want to capture will be AIDA64. Now, AIDA64 brings everything very raw on the table, and this is why we always like to capture it and use this. So here you go, you can see the device type is TV. The manufacturer says Droid Logic and then going under model has been written properly. Now going down, now there are some parts that I am going to block, which will be the serial number, but you can see the RAM is four gigabyte and total memory is 3764 of megabyte. Availability is roughly about half of it, a little bit less, but the internal storage is 128 and you can see that how much has been used and how much is free. Now you have to understand that this part is going to take some partition, which means it's for recovery and some of it for the OS and the apps that we installed in this is the remaining. The Bluetooth on this is Bluetooth 5, but because of the software and also the chip on the motherboard does not really read properly, you can see that it says four plus. The CPU on this is ARM Kotax A55, which is running on 2004. It is quad core processor. And right now you can see the ones that are running and the ones that are sleeping. It goes up to the maximum. And CPU utilization goes roughly about 35%. Scaling governor is scheduled, which is really good. Now under display, the native resolution on this is 1080p, which is running on 61 DPI. The GPU on this is Molly G31, which is a single core processor running on 60 hertz in a landscape mode. And if you have any games, this will play it perfectly for you because the OpenGL on this is 3.2. Now under network, yes, 5G is supported. Passport is Wi-Fi 6 is supported. And we will show you in a couple of seconds that where you can see that Wi-Fi 6 icon. Now just to show you, this is running Android 11, which is red velvet cake. API level is 30, which is a really good number. Now under terminal, you can see that the actual CPU in this call they call it SOC or SOC, is running roughly about 50, which is really good again, 51, even 55 is really good. If it goes above near to 70, or should I say 70 and above, will not be good. And the RAM itself, DDR, you can see that it's roughly about 52 to 53. Again, it's still really good. Now the best part is going to be the Codex. Now let's try to find some that is really mandatory for you to know is going to be AV1, which is part of it. So you can see VP9, H264, VP8, MPEG4, H263, they're all right here. And then AVC, and there you go, WMV3, there's VS1, 
B, C1, and going down, you will be able to see the Adobe Vision is right there. So this way, a lot of different apps will be compatible with this. And then the AVC, AV1 is right there. So these are the ones that a lot of you do request to see, and I have it on the list. So this box will be able to do a lot of good decoding for you when it comes to your videos. Now the next part I just want to cover is going to be the Buzz TV Smart Remote app. Now this is a really cool app to have because now your box is not the only thing that will get update. And I have to mention these updates are not going to China. This is going to be updated locally in Canada or United States. So your box is not the only thing that will get the OTA update. This is also going to get your remote up to date using the Bluetooth connection. So here you go, right now mine is connected. You can see it says connected. The current version for this remote is version seven and the battery life also shows up for your remote. So it's really good to see that. On top of that, if you wanna set up your TV, here you go, it says auto setup. And if you want the backlit to be on or off for that way you can save some battery life you have it right over there and then you can change your remote buttons to be open different apps you can do that but you will lose those buttons for your bus tv so the connectivity will not going to be there you're going to take over by opening those apps if you ask me i would not play with that and going down is the update for your remote control. You can click on it, and if there is any update, you will see it, and it will get updated. Now, if you do lose connection of pairing by the remote itself, you can click right there, and that way you can point the remote to the box. It will become IR if it doesn't work. And this way it will still work, but you can come here and you can reconnect it, and it will work perfectly for you. On top of that, HDMI CEC settings is right here too, and the max volume setting. So that way you can see that I have this little button right here, so I can go with the volume up and down directly to the box. But if you want to turn this on, that means your TV will take control of your voice, but the voice on this will be on a maximum. That means it's gonna be very loud, and then your TV will take over for the volume up and down. Again, if you do have a newer TV, go ahead and you can pair your actual remote, which is the BT400, with your TV and this way you can process that part. I have to mention that there are some apps which I have right over here in this one. You do need to get subscription directly from something like Disney Plus website or Netflix website and that way you can use this app for you to play. Now, if this is going to be your full review, we will capture it and we will tell you exactly what type of quality you will get and how you will be able to play with it. For Disney Plus, for just in this short video, I have to mention that, yes, you can play with it. Yes, it will play the apps or the videos in 4K as long as you set up your box as 4K with your true TV that is 4K then you should be able to watch the videos in Disney Plus as 4K. When it comes to Netflix, it will go roughly about 520 and it does not go over the 520p. So that way you know exactly how it works. On top of that, you do require to have an air mouse remote, something like the Buzz TV's ARC 100 or ARQ 100 or 200 or 220 or 250. Yes, they have different models that they came out with, but I haven't reviewed it yet. And there you go. So this will work for you. Now let's go through and play with some videos to see exactly how good this will play it. All right, so the first one we're going to play is just a regular 1080p video. So we select it and you can see that automatically it plays it for us. And yes, I do have a sound, so I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit. So this way we cannot go into merge it with our voice, but here you go. This is how good it is right now playing and there's no stop to it. I really like that. Now the next thing is the 4K video that we have. And yes, there is some little pauses as you can see as soon as it start playing it but then it goes really smooth. I really like that at how it plays. Now there are some little parts that I'm going to mention is this 
is a very large amount of map so yes you can see little parts that is going to stop but you can see like the birds everything is very smooth going through so that means is it digitizes it really nicely and going next this part is going to be the actual 10-bit video and the 10-bit video also plays it very well and yes there is a sound for it the sound is accurate too and now going through it this will play it very nicely so yes it passes the 10-bit video on 4k and it plays it very nicely so i do not have to worry about and the last part that we're going to cover will be the speed test now for speed test we have processed it using landline and then we processed it using the wi-fi 6 to see exactly how good of a number we will get so with the LAN connection for the very first time you can see that I have received 624 and you can see that it start arcing and going upward in order for us to get this number and for the upload rate we have 52 megabits per second but it stayed on 39.3 it looks like other things were just really coming in front of it but my idle time is really good which is 15. now when we did it one more time it got really better and you can see that it arced down and goes back up but really it's steady around here and you can see that it was very small amount that i was going up and down but it stayed on 745 which is a really good number for a gigabit lan and then 38 it really stayed up for our upload rate but you can see that the ping or the idle time is about 26. you can see that it goes as low as 11 but it stayed really there now when we tried it with wi-fi 6 and you can see that the way that it arced it goes up and down and up and down and start going up and studied there which was 270 now our router which is a wi-fi 6 so this is a really good number when it comes to that now for the upload rate we really stayed on 27.8 and did not go up but my idle time was 17 which is a really good number now going next for our download rate you can see that again it started arcing up and down and it stayed about 236 and it's down a little bit than before but my upload rate went up to 40.0 which i really enjoy seeing that part and my idle time is about 26. so going back and checking all these numbers these guys actually done their homework perfectly that means is the drivers that they installed on this box works well why because the landline really connects properly in some boxes i've seen that it really fluctuated and went from 700 to almost 300 so that's not a really good sign for those boxes but this one really stayed well same thing with wi-fi now wi-fi 6 have its own little icon which i'm just going to show you right now and you can see it right over here that the wi-fi 6 is connected i really enjoy looking at that and they didn't have that before now they brought it in one more thing i have to mention is a lot of you guys are worried about these boxes because some big youtubers came out and indicated that there are some flaws in these boxes not this is am logic so it's not falling between of those other boxes that do have certain worms inside of it this is very safe on top of that i have to mention that the ota updater that a lot of those youtubers are mentioning is going back in china this one does not this is very well been cooked this has been written in canada in united states so when they are doing the updates it's all going to be done within these two countries so this way you are going to be safe and the software on this is os 11 which is another big thing for buzz tv links are going to be available at the bottom of the video if you want to purchase one of these except that i hope you guys like our video if you do like it click the click the like button subscribe button on the top comment on the bottom always remember to visit our own website which is xctext.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter instagram and other social networking places and thank you